<laughs> uh, we've loved it. We've been able to see the first Love few it. apps of this new series. Caleb joins us now live from Clarkson's Farm. Morning, Caleb. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Very good. Very Lovely good. to see you. You're here down there with the goats this morning. Um, how busy has this morning been for you so far? What time did you get up and what have you done? Uh, I got up. What time did I get up? Quarter to six today, so it wasn't too bad. I normally get up about half five. Um, did everything. Uh, my end, I did a few more chats to a few other, other press this morning. And then I'm on the farm now, uh, finish this interview and then go and do some work. OK, well, Caleb, we have to say we've loved mm -hmm. this series so far. Both of us have absolutely loved it. And this season, you're promoted, is that right? Yeah, I've got, um, got farm manager above my name now. I, and, I, and to be honest with you, I think, um, I think I was probably farm manager before I got the promotion, <laughs> but we'll <laughs> skip past that. And uh, I'm very grateful for the, for the promotion anyway, that is. One of the things I loved was as soon as you took the opportunity to be farm manager, you made a big call. I think we've got a little clip of exactly what you did once you were named farm manager. I've made a big decision. You are no longer the tractor driver on this farm. What am I, then? I've decided I'm going to make you farm manager. Really? Yep. I want you to run the farming side of it. You're fired. What? You're fired. You can fire. I'm the boss. I'm the farm manager. You're fired. I'm not fired. You are. I'm not, because you haven't heard how this is going to work. Tell me that, then you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> How satisfying was it firing Jeremy Clarkson, Caleb? Oh, it was awesome, but unfortunately, he's still here. He's still here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're running a very special competition together. Tell us about the competition that you're running this season. Yes, seeming on farm manager now. It's basically how it works. I basically found the farmable land, and he's farming the unfarmable land. Um, which is amazing, as you think. Actually, you know, it's a thousand acres here, but actually, we're only farming six hundred acres. So therefore, the other four hundred acres of are grassland and woodland. So therefore, why don't we actually go out there and try and make a little bit of money on farming the hedgerows and um, and bringing a little bit of profit out of the woodland and the grassland? So it's a really good idea, I thought. And um, and I mean, it highlights the how how much money actually goes into actually grow food to put on people's plates. Yes, because aren't you in the red a little bit at the moment? From what I've seen so far, Jeremy seems to be doing really yeah. well with his Henry the Hoover hedgerow jam. jam yeah. And you're struggling slightly with all the costs that it takes to actually kind of get fields planted and do all that. Yeah, and I mean, basically, as a farmer, you go out there, you put all your money in from buying the seed, the fertiliser, doing the work itself, buying the diesel. And then, of course, you don't get a return until a year later. And who knows if you're going to get a return or not, because the weather can change everything. Uh, Caleb, since we last spoke, you've become an international celebrity. Uh, you've toured around the UK. You've been <laughs> meeting your public and your people. How are you coping with the notoriety and the recognition? I mean, I'm a friendly person. I talk to anybody. I mean, if you were, if I walk through the street and I ask for a selfie, I'd normally say, yes, of course, and where are you from? And then all of a sudden we spend three hours talking and I'm in the pub playing darts with everybody. So, I mean, I just love chatting. I'm the most chattiest person you'll meet. So, is there, so it was the job that you were born to do, to be the public face of farming? Because there's no question <laughs> what you've been able to do, what Jeremy has done and what the show has done, and you and Charlie and Gerald as well, in terms of raising the profile and also the issues that farmers face day in, day out with regards to the admin, that was the planning with regards to the weather. I mean, it's been an extraordinary experience for you. Yeah, I mean, it's been an honour because I get to show the world what I love doing the most. And I always say this, I think farming to me is not a job, it's a way of life. And um, let's face it, it doesn't matter if you have a, what, what car you're driving, what phone you've got in your pocket, even what house you're living in. What matters the very most is what's coming across your pra plate. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. But so, but when you say what car you're driving, what what tractor does uh, does uh, Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy Jeremy drive? Uh, he's got that Lamborghini, <laughs> that awful Lamborghini tractor <laughs> that we all see, well, which should he... actually be an ornament now and go to the farm shop and just stay there. <laughs> Will you? So you won't be getting one anytime soon then, a Lamborghini. No, definitely not. <laughs> yeah, but you have branched out, though, Caleb, uh, because you've recorded a single as well. You're moving into the uh, international music charts. Uh, tell us about the, the single <laughs> and, and how it came about. Well, I wanted to raise some money for charity, but more importantly, highlight the issue of, of course, mental health in terms of farmers. 
and the weather affects that a, a huge amount. And I thought, how can I make a little bit of a difference? I know, I've seen when I'm a professional singer, you know, so I am. I thought, why don't I try and rap about a thing that I dislike? And then, they, of course, I rapped about sheep. And let's face it, they can't rap back to me. So, <laughs> basically, I've won. And I've raised awareness in mental health. And, I've, of course, I wrapped that helpline. And that helpline is available 24-7 um, to any farmer that needs someone to talk to. It's a brilliant Excellent. cause. I think we should see you in action. In case anybody hasn't seen it, this is Caleb <laughs> and his pop video. Whenever the weather gets you down And you think you might be better off in a town Wait for the morning in all its glory A new day can bring a different story Plowing straight lines makes my heart beat Did I mention I can't stand sheep? It's just, but why do you hate them so much? What have they ever done to you? Yeah, as a shepherd, I take this personally, by the way. <laughs> I mean, there's... <laughs> well, Ben, I mean, if you get in the field with them, I'm sure you'd be outstanding. <laughs> but um, I think I, there's so many different reasons I hate them. I mean, for example, they get up in the morning, they go, right, what do I want to do today? I know, I want to just go and get stuck in a fence and die. <laughs> that is a sheep's thinking. <laughs> I can see why that would wind you up. Uh, you've got two little ones as well, Caleb. Um, your son is now three, I think, Oscar, and little Willa is, is a little one as well. How are they on the farm? Does it look like they're going to be following in your footsteps? Well, I hope so. I mean, I think every farmer hopes their kids follow in their footsteps and maybe take over the business one day. But I think, um, I mean, my little boy, he loves the farm as well as my little girl. She's a little bit scared of the cows. They're a lot bigger than her, of course. She's only 10 months old. But... Um, I mean, I really want them to be a farmer, of course, but if they go and decide, I don't know, to move to London, I don't know, be an accountant or something, I hope they know that I'm never going to visit them there. <laughs> <laughs> Can't well, be chippy. thank you for joining us this morning. I know you're already filming season four, yes, but that started already, season three of Clarkson's Farm is out on 3rd of May on Prime Video. We love it. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you so much for having me. Great to see you. you. can go back and start your full day's work now, because I'm sure there's plenty of jobs plenty waiting to, to be day. ticked off. Cheap to Great to see you, Caleb. <laughs> uh, so that new series, we've seen the first few episodes. Oh, it's, it's so good. It's everything you want. It's I'm really, I'm going to go really back brilliant. now to season one and two, too. Go back and enjoy so it. So good. Uh,